Hey, Alexia. Hey, Foster. Pode me contar um pouco sobre a sua experiência com o Cambly? Aham. Uhum. Bom, semana passada eu fiz uma aula super legal pelo Cambly. Eu tinha um tempinho de manhã livre antes de começar a trabalhar. E aí eu fiz um filtro no aplicativo. Escolhi uma pessoa que quisesse falar sobre viagens. E escrevi e vi um artigo sobre as cidades que são melhores de se viver. E aí fui lá encontrei a Anna. Anna é uma britânica que mora em Manchester e faz as mesmas coisas que a gente faz, que é Trusted House Sitters, né? Então, ela já está há 18 meses fazendo isso. Então, foi uma conversa super legal, super fácil e foi muito, muito bom encontrar uma outra pessoa que esteja fazendo a mesma coisa que nós. Então, você gostou muito, né? Eu adorei, eu adorei. Ainda mais de ela ter elogiado meu inglês. <risos> ela claro. falou que é muito bom, que eu tenho pouquíssimas coisas para corrigir, mas de qualquer forma ela me corrigiu, o que eu achei muito bom também. É, vai lá, cambly.com, aplicativo, qualquer coisa, usar o código. Use o nosso código, inglês Use no Cru. Use o nosso código, inglês no Cru, eu posso fazer isso em português, Alex? <risos> e receba a sua primeira aula de graça. É, e é sem nenhum tipo de truque, gente. É entrar, botar seu e-mail, colocar o cupom, pronto, acabou. Então Só não isso. se esqueçam, inglês de Nicru é o cupom. Ok, let's do the show. Bye! Hey, Alexia. Hi, Foster. Guess what? What? Alexia's back. <laughs> Happy Monday. I was having to do a series called English no Cru Hacks, which was more or less me just trying to still give you guys new podcasts while we were incredibly busy launching Sound School and taking care of a million dogs. Yes, but I am alive. I am here. We are fine. Yeah. So, really quick, a great phrase is, I'm alive and well. I'm alive and well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> awesome. So, Alexia, let me ask you a question real quick. Can okay. you describe where we are right now? Yeah, we are inside of a building of more than 500 years old. Yeah, I would say more than a 500-year-old building. Yeah. I don't know if that's right. I think so. No, he said the building's super old. I can't remember the year, but 500, that's... That's super okay for the city that we are. If you think about it. Pedro Alvarez. <laughs> But think about it. The city that we are right now, uh, it was... How do I say entre aspas? In quotations. In quotations. Wait, let me rephrase. Um, the city that we are now became a city in quotations in 1218. Okay, um, that was a very complicated way to explain. I would say the city was founded in the year 1218. Yeah. And I, why are you saying in quotations? Because we don't really know if it was only 800 years ago. Maybe it was more. Yeah, yeah, and that is what the city, the municipality is saying because it is the 800 year anniversary of this city, and where are we? We are at Alcácer do Sal. Yes. So, Alexia, I'm sorry I'm going to make you suffer, but I'm glad you're back. Happy Monday. We are in. You're always in cities. What, what did I say? We are at. I'm sorry. I didn't I'm even... at the party. <laughs> I'm at the library. Yes. I'm in a we city. We are in. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So, we've been working crazy hard, and... This is our first couple of days off and a Saturday night at almost 10 p.m. Yeah. And What that's, are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we took some time off from Instagram, from all the social media and everything like that, because we really needed that. From Friday to Sunday, we are not appearing on social media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think this will connect well with the theme of the podcast today. Yes. So let me set the scene. We went horseback riding today, which was amazing. 
We'll mm-hmm. talk about it in the next episode. Then my butt was really hurting from riding the horses. Horseback <laughs> riding is exhausting. <laughs> and I had to take a nap. And I need to take a lot of naps because I'm a bad sleeper and I'm a big baby. Yes, you are a baby. So I took a nap and I woke up and Alexia's like, Emma, 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 <laughs> Emma, Emma, boom, boom, Emma. And so I'm in this sleepy, like, okay, let's go. And then finally, when Alexia gets in, gets me out of bed, we go, we walk out of our house. We see the church. They have a church of St. James. Yeah. First of all, we saw the Sigonias. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you say Sigonias in English? Har, no. Har, har, har. Harnets, no. Harnets are made in bondage. <laughs> Stork. Stork. Yeah. I think that's a great example of how beautiful Portuguese is sometimes. Yeah, you already and said how that. In the, ugly in the Instagram. English can yeah. be. Sigonish stork. <laughs> yeah, huge stork nests on top of the <laughs> church. It was huge, like five of them. Yeah, the biggest stork's nest. That sounds weird, but yeah, that's correct, I yeah. guess. Storks have huge nest. Yeah, we saw that, and then Foster said, oh, the church is open, because in these small towns, it's really, really um, hard to see a church open because usually they don't have someone to take care of the church during the days that there is no mass or the hours that there is no masses at all. Yeah. yeah. So it was open and I said, yeah, let's go there. <laughs> yeah. And I love to visit churches because it's always historical. It's always a lot of stuff to do and to see and to think about. Yeah. Especially in Europe. Especially in Especially Portugal. Especially when you're in Portugal, yeah. in a city that has Roman shit everywhere. Yeah. I don't know why I'm saying shit with Roman, <laughs> but yeah. So, And I also studied a lot of, really I studied, in quotations, again, international relations in university. But what I really studied was medieval Spain. So I studied a lot about architecture in the Middle Ages so I'm fascinated by this. Alexia is Catholic and from Portugal. Her family's from Portugal originally. So you're fascinated by this. We went into the church and mass was already happening. Yeah. Uh, we came in during the communion. Yeah. So this is exactly why I wanted to record this episode. Because our listeners are Brazilians. A lot of Brazilians are Catholics or religious people, and talking about religion is really difficult, even in your native language. Yeah. So there are a lot of complicated words and stuff like that. So we walked in, and they were having communion. 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 Okay, (laughs) one more time. Say it again. Communion. Communion. Yeah, so you're saying commune. Commune. Mm-hmm. That should be an easy sound because you're Communion. saying you're saying you you, but then there, that's actually a nasal vowel in English, which is not super common in English, but it's super common in Portuguese. So it's just like the word like jejum. Mm, mm. I'm saying commune, commune, mm. communion. Yeah, communion. Communion. Perfect. Yeah, communion is when you are taking. You're eating the bread, the wine, the body of Christ. And how do I say, like, I took communion? Yeah, in general, we take communion. Yeah. Yeah. So we got there at the time of the communion, and I took the communion. Mm -hmm. I took. I took. 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 This is the uh sound in English for all of our students doing sound school. The coolest thing about sound school this time is Alexia is also doing sound school, so I get to correct her whenever I want. And it's very funny (laughs) and very fun, both funny and fun. Ooh, I was about to correct you again. No, it's both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be both at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, but I was thinking there's so much good vocabulary and just so many good things to talk about when talking about church and religion. 
So let's do it. So, mess is missa, right? Yeah. First thing, mess. Yeah. So the first thing here, just going to continue on my pronunciation speech, is mass. This is the ah, ah sound. So it's the same sound like cat, hat, disaster, tragic, traffic, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of times I hear my students say, I went to mess. And mess is... Yeah. Yeah. Mass. Mass. No, not mass. <laughs> mass sería español. Mass. So you want to say mass. 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 So you really will feel air expelling from your mouth, right? So it's almost like your mouth makes a square and you say, ah. Say it with me. Mass. Perfect. Mass. Mass. Yeah. Mass and misa. Yeah. But if we're going to talk about church, can we start with the most simple word? What? Word that I hear people pronounce incorrectly all the time. Uh huh. God. God. Yeah. So in American English, ninety nine percent of Americans say God. Think about the vowel sound here. Am I saying an O, like good, good? No. This is the Ah sound, just like plato, chato, hato. God. I believe in God. I believe in God. Yeah. I can't speak for British English. I think in British English, they would use more of like, good God, man. (laughs) (laughs) I would say like, my good Lord. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) But that's a mistake that I hear British or not British people. (laughs) Brazilians make a lot. It's saying God instead of God. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So we came in. To this church, Santiago Church. It's one of the most beautiful churches that I ever been to. Yeah. It's full of how do you say azulejo in English? Ooh man. I think I would say tiles. Yes, it's full of tiles. Yeah. But, but the specifically not... the Portuguese, the blue and white, the beautiful porcelain tiles. Yeah. And it's like breathtaking. Most of the churches around Portugal, they are breathtaking, but this one was... Great adjective. Breathtaking. Thank you. Takes my breath away. Yes. Just a quick note. Santiago. In Portuguese, you would say Santiago. In English, we would say St. James. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. So, Alexia, can we just go ahead and get the elephant out of the room? Do you know that phrase? I know what you're talking about. I really do. <laughs> I do know. But do you understand the phrase elephant in uh-huh. the room? Yeah. What am I trying to say with that phrase? It's like the biggest problem. It's the thing that no one wants to talk about. Yeah. And I know what you're talking about. What do you think it is? And the word for Catholico. It's in exactly English. that. <laughs> I okay. hate this word in so, English. Just to fill you guys in, Alexia and I have been together for almost three years exactly now. Next month. Yes. And I've been trying my hardest to get Alexia to say the word Catholic. And it's a difficult word because you have the TH, you have the A sound, you have the I sound. It is a great example of how English is not a phonetic language. And every time that I'm going to say this word, I start the phrase saying... I'm so sorry because I don't know how to pronounce it. And Foster always corrects me, but I still don't know how to do it. And then I always say it. Okay. And your dad one day said to me like, it's perfect. <laughs> but I know it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, my dad always says that to you. <laughs> Very sweet. Thank you, dad. So, vamos lá. Vamos tentar agora. Ao vivo. It's just ca. Ca. And then you have the TH, so Kath. Kath. Lick. Lick. Yeah, that's it. Catholic. Catholic. Yeah, and you can put the stress on the first syllable, Catholic. Catholic. Yeah. Alexia always wants to say Catholic. No, I always want to put the O or, yeah. in the middle. We do not pronounce the O, just think cat, cat. Put a TH sound, Kath, Kath, and Catholic. Okay, so I am Catholic. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Now I had to remember this when I'm talking without 
a script. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Alexia is Catholic. Um, yes, I am. Are there other Catholic Apostolica Romana? I'll just say that. And Apostolic Roman, Roman Catholic. Catholic. Roman. Roman. Yeah. Happily. So, so I am in the perfect city for me. I haven't think about it. This is where it started, maybe. I haven't thought about it. Uh -huh. I'm definitely not where it started. <laughs> <laughs> in Portugal. No, it was Braga. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Catholic tradition, I'm not an expert, but I think you could argue it started <laughs> probably in Jerusalem, or you could argue it started no, in Rome. No, you understood what I want to say. <laughs> Definitely yeah. did not start in Of course, in, Foster. I could say it himself. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, some other really good vocabulary. Where do you call the place where the priest stands, where people get married? Altar. The altar. 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 Yeah, it's almost like you're saying the author, like the writer of a book. Mm-hmm. But without the TH, so you're saying alter. Alter. Perfect. Perfect. And that's actually the aw sound. You're not saying alter. You're saying alter. Alter. Perfect. What about the place where people sit? How do you say that in Portuguese? Os bancos. Banquinhos. I never, ever called it in another way than like... So much easier in Portuguese? I think so. I... I Just sit on the little benches. <laughs> no, probably I'm saying something really, really yeah. different. But for me, it was always a bunkush. So we have a weird word for this in English. We say pews. Pews. Yeah. So like P. What do you mean? Pews. <laughs> pews. <laughs> What do you mean it's like P? <laughs> it reminds me of shishi, P. It, does, it reminds me of alguma coisa que cheira ruim. Yeah, it's a pew. <laughs> Ew. But that's what we say, pews. Yeah, that's where we sit. What about the person that leads the mass? This is easy. The priest. Mm -hmm. So technically, priest, Padre. priests are the Catholic leaders of the church. For example, my grandfather, he is a Lutheran, we would say a Lutheran minister or a Lutheran pastor. So when you're not talking about Catholics and you're talking about Protestants, we normally say minister or pastor. I always say pastor. Yeah. It's just like pastor. Yeah. My <laughs> son, my avô, é pastor. Da Americano. <laughs> yeah, pastor Americano. Yeah. Muito fofo, meu avô. Yeah. And how do I say that place that people get the batismo? place where they get the yeah the first baptismo and bautismo baptismo baptismo baptism 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 yeah i don't know is that when they throw the water on the baby's head it's not like true yes <laughs> yeah i don't know how we say that in english probably mm -hmm. like the baptismal Water throwing place, I yeah. think is the technical term. Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Getting out of my comfort zone here. Did you like the mess from tonight? It was absolutely beautiful. And it's just so good to be in Europe because in the U.S., nah, to be honest, I'm not the most religious person in the world. My parents are very, very religious. But I've always grown up in the Christian tradition, and it's just great to be back in churches. We are in a little town in Portugal, and the priest in this tiny little town is Brazilian. So we have Padre Rogério, and it's just awesome to have this religious community that's super nice and supportive around us. Yes, yes. The city that Pastor is talking about right now is where we are staying with the dogs, not here. Yeah. But it's awesome. Yeah. That is another story for another time, another episode. But for now, Alexio, glad you're back. Yes, I'm very happy. And uh, if you are coming to Portugal, come to Alcacera do Sal. It's really next to Comporta Beach. You'll love it. And it's a lovely small town. It's beautiful. I want to live here. If we had the money, 
if podcasting was more lucrative. <laughs> Who knows? One day, one day. <laughs> anyway, we will see you guys tomorrow. Until tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of English Nui Kuru Haju. If you like what we do, please check us out at EnglishNuikuru.com, EnglishNuikuru.com. There you can find everything you need, all of the episodes, transcripts, blog posts, articles, resources, and new courses that we are releasing this month. Thank you for your support. Most importantly, keep up the good fight and lose well. Até já já. Tchau.